a bloke named Conan mm-hmm. showed me a message spewing. The Barbarian? I'm not sure. Or the talk show host? Uh, Cohen, not Conan. Oh, okay. <laughs> The uh, Cohen Don't worry he's, about it He's from Adelaide <laughs> Yeah okay Alright sweet um, And he goes Mate absolutely spewing Yeah uh, You guys cancel the loogies Because I already had My black tie sorted Right And I went Oh, oh no Like I, I, I'm feeling bad Thinking oh no Conan's gone and bought out an ex- Bought an expensive tie if you don't know A black tie It's a black tie event The loogies Compulsory right? It's not formal attire You don't need to wear a suit Or a dress But you must incorporate A black tie Somewhere into your outfit yeah. He goes, I've already gone, got my black tie. Okay. And I was like, oh, shit, man. I'm so sorry. Like, you know, do, do we give this guy 20 bucks? No, we're not responsible for ties. No, no. Um, <laughs> turns out um, it was a little more permanent than that. Um, Cohen got a black tie tattooed <laughs> on his... <laughs> what? For the loogies. On his big toe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now he can't come. <laughs> Sucked in <laughs> the What? D- the day before we cancelled it Oh It was no. like Oh man I was really excited to show you guys at the show <laughs> uh, He just goes mate Pretty keen to explain that one to the grandkids Oh this is for an event that got cancelled <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny yeah. What's that black tie tattoo? Does that mean anything? He goes, oh, it was going to. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Now it, was, it means nothing. I was going to an event that was compulsory black tie. So yeah. I just thought I'd get it tattooed on me forever. I love that because that means that he would rock up and, and the loogies, it's a very secure event. Security everywhere. And they do not let you in no. if you don't have a black tie. So he, he would have been stopped at the door and be like, mate, no black tie, no entry. Sorry. Go, Give me one second. Let me take off my shoe. <laughs> you have to get his foot out and yeah. just hold it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, I uh, we apologise to I anyone can. else who may have gotten the tattoo Dude, already. I felt bad when some people booked flights to mm. fly to Adelaide. There's a guy from Sydney who booked eight, uh, so nine people in total, eight of his friends to come down to see the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's really. <laughs> and I, funny. I've been texting him back and forth about. <laughs> I've been texting him back and forth it's about not funny, stuff. It's funny, it's horrible. And we've actually, Nine people! We feel really bad oh, about no. it. Oh, no. Yeah, that sucks. So <laughs> I, had, I gave him a heads up before it was announced, so if he wanted to cancel flights, he could. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, we're really sorry, guys, but... No, you know, not sorry. It was a prank. We planned to do it the whole time. <laughs> no. Gotcha. Sucked in. But maybe put get those in a travel bank from the airline, yeah. and if you need to use them quick... December 22nd. There you, you know, go. Sydney to Melbourne's open now. Yep. Get on down. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe get a test before we come here. Actually, we're as bad as you guys. Never mind.